Mr. Fuller, you and your mother are here today to prove that you fathered the defendant's two-year-old daughter, Milani. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You say Ms. Nelson led you to believe that you were her daddy and build a strong relationship, but now wants to rip her away from you. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Nelson, you acknowledge Mr. Fuller's relationship with your daughter, but say you are now certain that he is not your child's father and will prove it in court. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Nelson, what are your intentions today if the DNA results prove you're correct? They will never see my daughter again, and their time just has expired with my child. Wow. Mm. That's kind of harsh, considering they have a relationship with her, isn't it? Barely. So, Mr. Fuller, tell me about the relationship you have with little I got Milani. A bond. I got a bond with Milani. She'll bring her hair to me. She'll let her stay the night and everything for about three months. Not three months. I'm positive. You sure? I'm positive. Have three you months. allowed Milani to spend the night with I them? I have allowed her to spend the night with them. We live in Fort Lauderdale. She stay in Melbourne. We have this baby two to three months. You guys had whenever, her for whenever a few weeks. Whenever she need us no, to... Don't. You had her for I a few we... weeks. Miss Fuller, I need to ask you, do you believe this is your son's biological child? That one child? this girl called me, I said, oh, I'm a grandmother. I said... I'm I sick. never Ms. called Nelson. you. I've never even had you I never to get God, in contact with you. I will tell you no lie. So, Miss Nelson, right. as you recall, how did you let Mr. Fuller know you were pregnant? I called him, he didn't answer. I saw that he was on Facebook and then I wrote him on Facebook. You say you never called his mother. She called never my called phone. his mother. I, I didn't even have his no mother's phone. number. She called my phone and said she was pregnant. When she had to go to appointments, she called and let us know too. What appointment? I wouldn't tell no lie. to. We accept that baby from day one. From day one. Anything that you ask us to do we for this always baby, we're there for this baby. baby. You, always. you guys have been there as far as always. now with my financial situation. Hey, come on, the I've been there. Okay, you guys do nothing okay, for my child. Let's get you, some you order. You do nothing know. for my child. Let's get some nothing. order. I don't know why you, you don't do a thing for all my of child. A sudden, but you never, you never act like this with us. So I don't even know why you doing this. You should never put us mm. through this. Miss Fuller. Damn, I just, oh. I love this baby. I love this baby with all my heart. All my heart. And you know this. I don't know anything. What you mean? I don't know a what thing. What you mean? Y'all ain't doing nothing for what my child. Miss Nelson. Y'all ain't Let's doing nothing for Let's my child. Let's get some time. more. Let's get some order. Stop talking. Miss Nelson. As much as Miss Fuller what? is off the what? hook what? right now, like this. I really can't blame her because if I thought I had a grandchild, hmm. they spent in a month at my house, whatever. I'm confused. And then all of a sudden, somebody tells me it's not my grandchild, I might be off the hook too. Why is it Why? you believe he's not the father? From day one, I never believed that he was the father, you Your Honor. You told me I chose I mouth. never believed I that you were the father. Why hold on, hold on, hold on. Why, hold on. why hold is him wait, wait, I'm not wait, talking... Let her answer. Let her answer. Let her answer. Shut up. Let her answer. Let her answer. Let let her answer. 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 Hold on. Stop talking. We have got to talk one at a time. Yes, ma'am. Man, this is... Okay. Miss Nelson, when you're going to your doctor's appointments, he's not coming. Nothing. When you're in the hospital giving birth to the baby, who's with you? A family member. When the baby's born, do you inform them? Do they come to the hospital? I did not inform them at all. My mother, behind my back, called them. Okay. Okay. Now, once she called them, did they come to see the baby? No, they did not. How did they ever form a relationship with the child. My baby was about five or six months old. I was at work. I was with someone, in relationship with someone, and they were... So now, at five months old, when the child's five months old, you're in a new relationship? No. I was in a relationship before him. Oh, before me Mr. And, Fuller. Me and the other guy was just on a break. So he so did you, something you that So you slept happened. with Mr. Fuller when you were on a break right, from another just guy. something that so happened. So then you and that, that guy got rest. back together. Really? Right. And at five months, you were with this other guy. Right. And but then they came to see the baby and somehow... Behind my back. I didn't even know they were in town. Okay. Miss Fuller and Mr. Fuller. She claims that there was a point that her family member went behind her back and allowed you access to... Milani. Mm -hmm. Did that happen that mm -hmm. way? Yes, I'm thinking all along she knew about this. 
How are we supposed to know? You didn't know that this was some secret. Like, we I'm didn't going know. behind her. I didn't know. He didn't know anything. So you think... Everything some... was like a hush-hush. So, Miss Nelson, did you ever say, I know my mother reached out to you. That no. was behind my back. You're really not... Milani's biological father. Did you ever say that? I did tell them that he, that he was not... I told Devonte that he was not her father before she was even born. But let me tell you something. This baby is a bond with me and with this boy. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. We love this baby. You don't have... Your we son love, doesn't have her. You, you know have we her. love this your baby. You know, Dequana, please. I don't even know why you even have her. Your son does not even have her. Your son, you have her. You're, when I call, your son is not even there half the time when I call. Oh, she's that with my mean, mom. But she's I with still my be there. They, 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 they got her time. Exactly. You know my mom and my sister, that's girl time. That's girl time. So let's get some order. Let's get some order. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Mr. Fuller, do you have any proof that she told you that you were the father? Yes, Your Honor. I got you proof do. right here. I'd like to see that. Ron, can you hand me that? Yes, ma'am. These are text messages. Yeah. So, from Miss Nelson, I see a message that says, we made a beautiful little angel. Mm. I love you, Milani. Mm. Then Mr. Fuller says, I know BM, our baby. Our baby, very beautiful. Thank you. That must be thank you, yeah. BM, for Milani. BM is. Hey, mama. mama, baby daddy. Next Thanks. page. Devante Fuller sends a message, beautiful BM. And then Ms. Nelson sends, thanks, BD. Sounds like to me you're communicating about the baby like it's his. Now, this last piece of evidence in the folder is a picture. And this mm. is a picture of you, Mr. Fuller? Yes. Yes, you are. And Milani? Yes, ma'am. And you submitted this to show what, she exactly? Because she looked just like me. Look, just like me. She got my nose, my forehead. Your Honor, after the five months when they, my mother, again, went behind my back, I was at work went behind my back, calling them. I didn't even know they were in Melbourne. I didn't even know they were in town. I'm on my job. The other guy who I was with, he's blowing me up, so I'm figuring something's wrong. How can you, after five months, no contact but, with me, but come to my household, my house where I live? But if your we mama... Came if, to the if, con if we came your mama to the house... Come to my house, mother I didn't... Call us and told us but to you come, come to my house while I'm at work. Uh, she was while in the I'm at us. work. She called while I'm at work, and I though. told her. Okay. I, I told her, but listen, no, mama, I don't listen, think we mama. should come because it's going to cause Okay, so problem. then you knew. And she said, no, y'all going to come and see the baby. Okay, hold on, hold on. Miss Fuller, why did you think at that moment that it would cause problems for you to see the baby because if the Because I knew the other guy was over there, and I told her, Mom, okay. we don't need to go over there. And she said, look, this y'all grandbaby. Okay. We've heard a lot of testimony about your mother, Miss Nelson. And uh, thank goodness she was able to come to court today because I want to hear from her. Ron, will you please escort... Yes, ma'am. ...Miss Johnson into the courtroom. Here, up the stairs, and have a seat next to the judge. Ms. Johnson, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Do you believe Mr. Fuller is Milani's biological father? Yes. You do? Yes. Why do you believe your daughter cannot <clears throat> even believe that's a possibility that he's her biological father? What do you think this is about? The other guy. Mm. The other guy. When her and the other guy gets mad, it's Mr. Fuller's baby. When her and Mr. Fuller's not speaking, then it's the other guy's baby. Oh! Dude. So she said she tells the other guy it's his baby too. Well, he done. The other guy He's said once before that birth. it wasn't his baby. So, Miss Nelson, do you believe he's not the father, or do you just not want him to be the father? Because that's both. two different things. No, it's both. I don't want him to be the father, and I know he's not the father. What you mean, Milani? So, you know we I'm not so, talking to man. So, I go, I'm not so, talking for this baby. I'm not talking to y'all. Take y'all away just from us up. like that. She's gonna you just take this baby from us. Y'all don't want to see my child. I'm not on it, baby. I'm not doing this, man. Let's get this order. Ms. Nelson.
Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> It's borderline cruel the way you're acting. Mm. I mean, I, I, you know, there is a part of me that truly wants to understand your position, but I can't get anything from you. I mean, they are over there crying. She wanted a relationship with my child. I was not even gonna let her be a part. She was like, I don't care if this not my grandbaby. Let I want speak. a relationship with this child. She knew there was a possibility of someone else. So wait, 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 wait. Your position was, I really, from the get-go, did not want them to have a relationship. Right. My mother went behind my right. back, Correct. let them see the baby. Correct. Then they got a bond with the baby, so I start feeling pressure. But it would have been my first choice if they had never had a relationship exactly. because I do not think Mr. Fuller is my child's correct. biological father. That's correct. So you Roger. feel like all of this emotion and attachment is almost by default. And she's acting like I... Because I don't her. understand how you're so angry with you two people never, that love you your child so much. I'm not angry at them, but person. they have not you been there. You never said that. They have you never so, said that. So even in my chambers, I mean, because I had to prepare for y'all. I, I didn't know... It, <laughs> I did not know that the storm was coming like this, but I knew this was going to be a very interesting case. So I was reviewing some of the evidence, and you, Miss Nelson... You submitted some text messages yourself to the court. But what was so interesting is that the text messages themselves were irrelevant. I mean, they didn't really go to the crux of the paternity. But it was the way you had Mr. Fuller listed in your phone that caught my eye. Mm. You have it listed, him listed as baby daddy Devante. Mm -hmm. So, this begs the question. If you never, ever thought he was the father. Why do you have him listed as baby daddy Devante in your phone? That's just a term that we use, and he knows we use that term. So what, it's like a new word for sweetheart? No. No. I mean, no, I'm, I'm serious. No. I mean... He's the baby daddy. I feel in my heart he is. And the I only reason she's saying that he's not say. because of you the other guy. You can't speak for me. No, you can't speak for me. Bit. Because I know the only the reason other reason why. why the other guy felt the need to say Melanie's not his because of all of this came about. Been in a life, hold on, hold, it's hold on, time. hold on. We're uncovering it's another stone. If the other guy was on a break, we were going through our issues. The only reason how this came about of him saying that it's not his child was because my conniving mother, who's supposed to be a mother, but always going behind my back, Delphine. ain't I'll never been it. really there for me, but want to step in my, my business now and be a mother or a woman or whatever you want to call it. Who's there but for you? Hold on. Always been a Let her speak. At the same time, mean? like I said, that's how all this came about. So why Now we... I no understand. I had to he went, hold he on. Went with me hold on. Hold on. Let's no. get some order. Ultimately, this is not about Milani. This court date is. But this confusion really isn't. Hmm. It's really rooted in the fact that you had a relationship that you wanted. You went on break. It's always something on a break. Mm -hmm. Yours ended up being that you ended right. up with Mr. Fuller. After that was over, you got back together. This gentleman was accepting of Milani might even be a potential father, but the workings of your mother Correct. to connect the baby Correct. with the Fullers is interfering right. with the relationship you right. really want. Right. Mm -hmm. Now we get it. I have the results. Ron? I still love you. We've had one fiery day. Yes, ma'am. And I don't want a fiery result. Can you please <laughs> stand between... Yes, ma'am. ...the plaintiff and the defendant and make sure we stay calm... In the case of Fuller v. Nelson, when it comes to three-year-old baby Milani, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Fuller, you are not her father. I knew, I knew it. Mm. I knew who I slept with. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, you're gonna take this baby from us. <laughs> I know it's tough, guys, but relax, please. You should apologize regardless. I, it's I, not just I, my fault. I, I you I, you played a part in this, too, because it was your you, fault you for was, going behind my back, leading them on to believe leading that. Leading them on because I we, knew. I you were there when I called I him. I knew, and I told you who the you father was. You were there. Again. Nelson, 
I can't let you walk out of here without at least recognizing I will. the part you did have to play. I did. You did allow them I did. some time with that child that, I mean, they are just heartbroken. I understand more now why you were so hurt. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, you got two people that really love your baby. The only thing that I will apologize for is my part of, of letting you guys get attached because that was my fault. I let them, but from the beginning, I told her. I did, but I still allowed her to because she said that she would love the baby. You understand what I'm saying? And being that, you know, with the other guy, the situation that was brought about, I didn't want my child to feel like she didn't have a father. So I did allow that. That's my fault. Do you know who her biological I father know. is? It's the, it's the other guy. It is the other mm -hmm. guy. Miss Percy, you've petitioned the court for a paternity test. You're here to prove to Mr. Gale and his wife that he is the father of your 26-year-old daughter, Tedra Glenn. Yes, Your Honor. You claim that you've spent nearly $200,000 to raise your daughter and he's done nothing. Yes, Your Honor. And now you feel like he needs to pay. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Gale, you claim you weren't there for Ms. Glenn because you only found out she may be your child when she was 15 years old. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, your biggest fear is that your wife will leave you if you're proven to be the father. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Percy. Yes. Why do you think Mr. Gale is denying your daughter? Because of his wife. I don't know why she won't let this man be a man and Excuse be me, with Your his Honor. children. Your he Honor. needs to spend time my with his children. My wife never stopped me from seeing any of my kids. Mr. Gale, that is so not true. Every time my daughter calls him, it's like, oh, I can't talk to you right now. Tanya's sitting right here. Right, because I, I don't want to dis disrespect my wife. How if would you I knew that was my daughter, your wife? I this is your daughter. If that, I knew that was my daughter. It's your daughter. I could talk to her wherever it's your daughter. I be. Mr. Gale, tell me, were you all in a committed relationship? It was committed. We was seven years. It wasn't no seven years. You were How long was it then? Like four or five years. No, it wasn't. When I got with her, she was 16, I was 21. Okay. And then when I was 26, I was with my wife. When did you get married? What, what was the date that you and Ms. Gale got married? February 23rd, 2002. Really? Miss Teedra Glenn. When is your birthday? October 9th, 1988. Mr. Gale, you got married in February of 2002. How long were you together before that? 15 years. Hello. Oh. So, if you were together 15 years, that would put you way before... You were together <laughs> with your wife way before... Right, we broke that up Ms. a Glenn long was, time but ago. But we were still sleeping together. We slept together we one time. We were sleeping time. together the whole time you was with Tanya. No, we wasn't. Oh we yes, slept together we one was. time, Your Honor. He's still trying to sleep with... <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> Woo! That's cute. Um, oh, don't, with don't, you. don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Oh, my God. Don't oh, may I lie. Say the Nothing? bottom line is... Do not lie. The bottom yeah. line is sometime during the relationship, whether you all were off or on at the time, mm -hmm. Ms. Glenn was conceived, yes. if you are her biological father, well, she during that time. Well, she had somebody else tested. Mm. So I and they wasn't the father. She said, I'm they the father. They wasn't the father. But, so but, you was the other but, possible father. But too. if you had somebody else test, if I was the father, you should have tested me first. Miss Percy, that's, that's a valid question. It's true. If you really felt he it. was the father, why wasn't he the first man tested? Mm. Because I didn't want to be bothered with him. So why you want to be bothered with me now? So what, you're... I, I don't. Honestly? I don't. Honest. It's you. Y'all uh, doing this. I'm not doing this. Right here. May yes, yes, please? yes, absolutely, Ms. Okay, Lynn. when I was 19 I didn't even want to be here. I asked my brother for Mr. Gale's number. When I asked my brother for Mr. G Mr. Gale's number, I called Mr. Gale, and I initiated a paternity test. I said, you know, I've been hearing all my life that you've been my dad, and I look just like you. Me and my brother just mm -hmm. look just alike. And, you know, I've been hearing all these rumors, but it's like, at that time, I felt like I was old enough to find out for myself. So when I called Mr. Gale, he was like, well, 
uh, I understand that you want to find out who your dad is, but you're going to have to pay for the paternity test. Oh, my and God. I would have been, been, which, 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 been fine with that. When I asked her, I said, tell your mother if see if your mother can go half of me on a paternity test. That her was mother after the never fact. got back to me, never said anything. That was after the fact. That was just recently. No. That was just recently this no. past year no. when no. you was like, oh, you need to find out no. where you really come no. from. No. Like, as if I'm a charity case. No, no, no you not. Right. Don't come back like you're a charity Ain't nobody think you on no, a charity case. For you to be no, like, for you that to say that. That's your mom. You did Ms. that. Percy, when you got pregnant, did you say to Mr. Gale, I'm pregnant and I think it's your child? No, I didn't. You didn't tell no. him a thing. My daughter was two. This man came to my house and my brother would kept looking at Tedra. We all kept looking at Tedra like, damn, she looking different. She looking like this, this man here. And I'm like, he, t he looked at her and he was like, oh, is that my daughter? And I told him, I didn't say yes and I did not say no. I told him it's a possibility. The first time I heard of T.J. being mine is when she was 15, her mother called me. Oh I was God. standing on Market Street in Long Beach. Oh my God. And she said, oh, dude, you know T.J. your baby. And I laughed, I thought she was playing. When my wife came home, I told her about it jokingly, my wife was serious. So I stopped smiling. That's oh what, my that's God. the first That's the lie. Time that I is know. such a lie. Okay, he I knew see... way before she was Never. 15. Knock it off. Wait, I should Yeah, you on, knock man. it off. Like, whoa, 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 you whoa. knock it off. And let this man be a father that's to his husband. kid. I can say what I want you to say. You knock it off. This my husband. I don't care. That's your problem. I don't want your no, husband. That's your problem. That's your problem. You get your life, baby. Yeah, because I gave it to you. This doesn't help, Tidra. No, it doesn't. I, but I, 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 hold on, before you, I, before you go off, this person, about my feelings. this is what I'm, mm. I am. I'm thinking about you. It's about mm. me knowing if this man is my daddy. Yep, we've that's been it. we've been talking for this past year, and when I say when we be on the phone, it's all laughs and giggles, and we talk like this was meant to happen. It's come a time to where every time I get on the phone, she's like, "Oh, you're on the phone with your little friend," mm. like as if I'm nothing. I am somebody. I may not have you had are. a father, but I'm somebody. Yeah. I don't have no problem with her. She's laughing and giggling like it's a joke. And it's not a joke. Your kids grew up with their fathers. I did it. She did it. I did it. it. And I'm, not, mama. I'm about to sit here and act like it's my mama's fault. Because at the end of the day, when I was 15, whether I was two, whether I was two months, you should have been a woman and, and said, this girl don't need to grow up without a father. All right, all right. Ms. Gale, I, I want to hear from you, ma'am. People have had a lot to say about you today. Yeah, I'm a villain. And what I'm trying to understand is, is your marriage on the line, depending on the results of this test? It has been a problem, you know, during our, the, you know, our marriage, because, you know, he stepped out and, you know, he did and deal with he... he, he out. It's he's not your turn. You already talked, sweetie. Relax yourself. Let, let, let her have um, her chance to speak, Miss Percy. You know, she speak. did. He did do what he did. Okay, but y'all wasn't married. I'm not your turn, sweetie. But it, but y'all wasn't what he, married. Let her You're right about that, led. but it was my man. Okay, yeah. Okay, learn something. What happened? After um, Ernest learned that there's a possibility that could be his child, mm -hmm. you know, he kind of denied it for a minute because he know I ain't, I ain't I'm playing the game. Yeah. So he went back and forth, and I said, well, tell me, you know, tell me the truth because this is getting ready to be a problem. You know, he went on and said, okay. I did it. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, you was there. So there's a great possibility that you could be oh. her father. So why because did you, you say was there. take a paternity test? How do you know what I said? You don't live in my I house, don't, little girl. I don't, but, but look how long it took I'm if he found out if she was 15, Okay, though. you killing me on about how long it took. We're here because you weren't careful. So Who don't come careful? go there. You, don't you okay, talk no, about me. No, I was, I was no, careful. I'm not here. No, you were about your husband. That wasn't careful. He wasn't either. Mm. You do, in fact, believe there's a possibility that Miss Glenn could be your husband's child. When you look at her, do you see a resemblance? Could you show her she's the picture? She know, um, fact, okay. She's trying to be I don't funny. know. I, so have I can't have evidence that you have her mother to me. Jerome, will you hand me Miss Glenn's evidence, please? She looks like her mother to me, but that doesn't mean that's not her father. The first piece of evidence is a picture of you... Me and Mr. Gale. And that's Mr. Gale. Yep. As children. Yep. And you say there is a definite resemblance. Yep. My nose, my lips, the way my mouth is, my teeth, my eyebrows, Your teeth. my eyes, the way I, I everything. 
The and then now, this is a more kids. recent photo of yep. you now. Yep. And you, you still feel like you see a resemblance. Yep. Mr. And Gale, do you see a resemblance? All I, can, all I can see is the DNA test. Whoa, whoa, that's how you feel? When I sent him this picture, you said I look listen, like listen you. Listen to what I'm saying. That's Y'all crazy. going too hard on my wife. That's crazy. And I got my wife back. I got my wife back. I'm done. So it don't matter to me. I'm done. Don't worry the about DNA that. Do it. And if it is, is this I'm just going to leave y'all life alone. Even D- if you are my daddy, okay. I'm going to leave you alone. That's why he doesn't have a relationship with it's my cool. other son. It's cool. Y'all need no uh, daddy. Because I need mean, I mean, you only got one up with like, uh, what you All right, all right. I, I, I want to know this. Do you really doubt that she's your child? Are you just... Or are you just fearful of the effect it will have on your head. marriage? So I have to come get tested. I cannot... I'm not going to just say, claim a, a child, and I don't know if she's truly mine. Mm-hmm. I wasn't with her, so I don't know who she been with. Miss Glenn... Why is this so important to you today? Honestly, because, one, I have grew up all my life without a dad. I've had a stepfather. He's been there through ups and downs, through thick and thin. And it's just like, when I see him, it's like I see me. And this is the honest-to-God truth. And then on, I don't know if it's a self-conscious thing of me hearing everybody say, oh, you look just like uh, Mr. Gale. Oh, you and Ernest look like my brother. And I don't know where I came from besides my mom. My mom always told me, I'm your mama and your daddy, I regardless. Was, I was there. Of course. I took, I took care yeah. of all four of my children uh, by myself. I just want a father. And That's honestly, it, all these years, regardless of the situation between Tanya and my mother, that's I, between them. I which don't is have all nothing against this woman. But at the same time, it's like Shit. through everything that I've heard, it's like I'm the problem. It's but like you're I'm not the one. Tidra. I know oh. that. I know that. <laughs> but class. if it's not oh, her, God. it's somebody else making me feel like I'm not nothing. I belong here. I've done. I've graduated high school without a father. I'm in college. I have four children. My kids don't even know him. Whether yeah. whether he's not my dad or not. This past year. This past year, I have grown so much love for him. Even when I was a yeah. child, I would walk around. My mom would say, oh, our, Mr. Gale is coming over to see my brother. And when he would come over, I would get excited, like, as if he was coming like for if me. He was wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Mr. Gale is coming to see brother. I have a son. But wait, him. why wouldn't he be coming to see the both of you? Because I never knew. He knew. He but I never knew. knew. If she's my daughter, then I could take on that role. Tanya he's runs your life, up. right? Listen, she runs it. Fun. Whatever Listen, Tanya say on. goes. Hold on. Her and Ernest's son stay with us for four years straight. Excuse me? For four years, four years straight. straight. Oh, yeah, because he wouldn't bring him back home. Knock it off. I didn't even know you he did four that. Four years yeah. straight. I mean, Ernest, I, come okay, on that's, now. Okay, that's, that's come good. On. That's fine, though. If okay, that's his son, just... he can live okay. with him for four years. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. okay. But I, like, but I made sure. Time, at the same time, I fed him like he was mine. Like what? My, what I drawn on like my mine. Okay. So, family, 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 I've heard enough. We're not going anywhere. We're not getting anywhere. We're not getting anywhere. We're not. We're not getting anywhere. Well, this is the point I've been waiting on. Miss Percy, I... I am going to go to the results now. Oh, thank you, Lord. Over. It's over. I think it's time. Mm. Now, just to be clear, you said during that time you had been intimate with two men, and yes. one has already been tested, and the test proved that he, he was not yeah. Miss Glenn's father. Yes. Mr. Gale is the other possible, possible father. Yes. So the only people. other possible father. Yes. This okay. Is crazy. You yeah. told me you're gonna love me regardless. I did. You told me that you I was did. gonna be I there. I did say you... that. And then you gonna brush uh, your hand up at me like I ain't nothing. Doing... Oh, oh, That's this cool. and... don't... Ladies, That's... ladies and gentlemen, if y'all you'd like to take a seat, too much to me if... and mine. No. Hmm. If you'd like to take a seat for the reading of the results, you're I more than I welcome. Sit down. In the case of Percy Glenn versus Gail, when it comes to 26-year-old Tedra Glenn, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Gail,
You are not her father. Hey, hear me, boo. Holler at your girl. Let's rock. <laughs> what, what you talking? <laughs> no problem. Her. Yeah. Her. I'm glad. Yeah. You glad. Yes, I you am. Dumb. I've always been glad. You That's why you never glad. knew it. You thought you was going to have me back Oh, please. Mr. Gale and Miss Percy. I can't hear any more of this. <laughs> oh. I want him to be my daddy. Why, though? Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. <laughs> he don't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> I want to go hug her, you know, and, and tell her it's going to be all right. I hate to hear her crying like that, you know? So do I. So do I. Mm. Mrs. Johnson, you are here today on the verge of divorce because you claim your husband of seven years is forcing you to choose him over your 12-year-old son, Elijah. You state that you have separated multiple times over the past five years of your marriage. You have petitioned the court to order Mr. Johnson into family counseling because you say if he will not agree, you plan to divorce him. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Johnson, you admit that your marriage is at its breaking point, but you argue that it's because your wife undermines your authority and allows her 12-year-old son to disrespect you. Yes, Your Honor. You claim you were on the streets since you were 14 years old and you fear your stepson is on the same track. Absolutely. You are countersuing Mrs. Johnson, asking the court to order her to take anger management classes. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mrs. Johnson, let me start with you. How does Mr. Johnson treat your kids? He shows blatant favoritism. He, I'm angry. I just want my kids to feel equal. I want my oldest true. son to feel loved. When you say he shows favoritism, explain to the court how. Okay, uh, for an example, I put my kids in baseball. He would participate in our son Ethan's, and he would never participate That's not true. in Elijah's. That's not that true at all. photo right there was Elijah's birthday, and was I took him. I took him to the go karts, and he was supposed to meet us after work, and didn't even show up. My son was so upset, he sat there and cried because nobody came to he his birthday He wasn't upset party. that I didn't come. He was upset that his cousins didn't come from Florida. It had nothing to do with me. His All cousins right. in Florida that he doesn't see a lot, now, that's where it was at. give me more specific stories of how you feel he treats the children differently. We went on a trip to Gatlinburg. It was just the four of us, and we had a great trip. And then um, it all just kind of dwindled down. My son, um, we took like a safari ride. And he said, oh, well, you, me and Ethan will ride on this one, and you and Elijah can ride on that. And it just hurts my son's feelings because he never shows that extra step to she where. She doesn't enforce me as a father figure. She doesn't enforce I shouldn't I'm, have I'm to the father because that's he's there. been in his life since he was two I have years been there, exactly. old. And he should take that extra this step long, on his own. If I've been there this and long, and you see why noticeable not differences it? on a day to day basis as to how he treats both boys. Yes, I do. He doesn't take an extra step in, like, as far as going to the PTA meetings or, um... Did I? In the beginning? Yeah, in the beginning, in the beginning. but things have changed. A and lot they, has changed. You can't expect different results when you're not willing he to make a change. He undermines me at home. He's what 12. is he going to do you're there? You're 33. Exactly. Discipline your son. Now, Mrs. Johnson, in your statement to the court, you said your son asked you, Mom, why can't I have a dad, too? Yes, he does have a dad. I'm there for him. I potty trained him. I've taught him how to ride bikes. I play video games with him. I've yeah, tried this was so years many ago, times. It though. was Mr. years ago. Mr. Johnson, but do you show favoritism? Do you? No, I to don't. To your yes, biological he child? I don't he show does. Favoritism, he will go no. in our son's room that we have together, and he will go He's in my there son. And play I'm not going to be disrespected at one point in and time, then deal with it. I Why not discipline work, children? And I would work nights, and they would have like movie night and all this other fun stuff. And you stuff, would lay out rules for him to do, and he never does them. He put it to a stop. My son refuses to come home when me and Mr. Johnson are together. I have a letter from my son right here. I'll read it. All right. My name is Elijah. I'm 12 years old. I don't want my mom and Jason to be together anymore. I don't like Jason at all. I don't like being around him. I don't ever want to see him again. He hurts my feelings because he does stuff with my brother and don't want to do stuff with me. Why? They, Jerome, I don't care. That please hand me that me. letter. There's so many different Mr. points Mr. Johnson, I have to ask you, 
Do you have any idea why Elijah would feel this way? Elijah is disrespectful to me, to yeah, her, but he's dis to, so you to everyone. Like, to everyone. To everyone. When you Mr. say Johnson he's disrespectful, he's disrespectful to everyone. First, give me he some takes... specifics. What do you mean? She told him, we got a new place together. I started to remodel the entire place. She told him specifically to clean up after himself. He is 12 years old. I cleaned the entire house. Five minutes later, he destroyed it. There's food everywhere. I asked him, pick up after yourself. I shouldn't have to do it. You're 12 years old. He told me, you do it. You'll have to deal with her when she gets home. He, he knows I can't have that house like that because then me and her are going to fight over a dirty house. And I'm not going to fight over a dirty house. You know what happened? I cleaned it. So now, Mrs. Johnson, let me ask you, are you undermining his authority? Absolutely. Does Elijah feel like... No, he I'm doesn't not. have to listen. He, he knows he I feel don't. like I have he to choose between my son. I don't make her choose. And if my she chooses, I'd leave her over I that. feel like that. I do because when I do go to work, it's, I have to take my son to my father's house. My yeah. son is not my father's responsibility. Well, I, I'm sorry, you don't discipline listen, him. When he does those things, do you think he gets grounded? No, she'll go buy him a video game, listen, a phone, an iPod. Listen, this is concerning to me because when I hear a 12-year-old child, you know, to say they don't want their parents to be together anymore, and that. He doesn't like his stepfather That's at all. That's because all we do is well, argue. It's funny. The day, before, he's gone, the day before I left, you know, this that. court is about empowering families, helping them understand how to be better families and respect one another. Exactly. He knows I'm and not his father. I hear you, Mr. Johnson. What I'm trying to get at he is whether him. you respect Elijah. So it ain't just me, though. He disrespects everybody. He disrespects his brother. He disrespects me, his mother. He talks back. She fights with him constantly over the simplest things. Clean your room. Listen. Don't talk back. It's always an argument. Take the dog out. Feed the dog. Whatever it is, he cannot do it. He cannot be disciplined. She won't discipline him. And instead of disciplining him, she, she babies him. Okay. Okay. And when me and him were left alone, with me, him, and my other son, and they're fighting for about two hours straight, nonstop. She comes home, I tell her what happened, I tell her that they're not listening, and instead of disciplining the kids, she fights with me. He's the one acting like he's 12, too. I'm and trying to I teach him to be a man. I'm trying to teach this boy to be I a man. How specifically are you trying to teach him to be a man? If he's 12 years old, can he pick up after himself? Can he listen to his mom? Can he respect his so elders? So learning how to do chores, clean up after respect, himself. Respect, respect. Yeah, but you got to give he respect his I mother? did give respect for many, many years. I get told, oh, you don't go to his baseball games. <laughs> you, he hates me. So now you two are separated because of this. Right yep. now. I mean, I love Jason with all my heart. I do. And I, love I would too. love for, you know, us to work and to be a happy family. We don't but see eye to eye. But at the point it's at right now, I just don't know if that, that's ever going to happen because so much has happened, so many... How do you want me to be a father but not do fatherly things? And... Ms. Johnson, you've brought a witness today. Could you please stand up, sir? Mm -hmm. State your name for the court. Oh, Rick A. Malsh. Courtney's Mr. Father. Amash, thank you so much for joining us today. Please talk to the court about what you've witnessed and what your understanding is in oh. terms of the favoritism or Elijah's disrespect, as Mr. Johnson has put it, to him and all people. Everybody. Um, I see Elijah being left out on a lot of things. Um, left out of no what? Father, son, um, the ice cream. Uh, you ask Ethan to pick up your room. It's like... Would you pick up your room? What's wrong with you? Why don't so you? So why aren't we here for the way you talk to Ethan? You know, talk to him like a human being, not like an animal that did something wrong. <laughs> doesn't that? Doesn't so, wait, 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 wait. Doesn't that go for both? Your grandfather. Doesn't yes. that go for both kids though? Wouldn't that go for both children, not just Elijah? Like what Ethan, my son, he does the same thing. He babies Elijah. Oh, it'll be okay. Oh, it'll be okay. Like you that. yell at him. Your daughter will admit it. So now it. you're saying that Mr. Amosh yells at. He's way more aggressive with Ethan than he is with Elijah. With Elijah, it's, oh, it's okay, Pat. Do you on the think head. he's yeah, overcompensating for Elijah because, because he feels like you leave him out? You leave him out. I'm so firm is. with Ethan that. I am firm with him. I don't want bad kids. I, don't, I come from the streets. I don't want to raise kids that are going to wind up there. I don't want to be 15 and say, you know, I'm, I'm going to go pick them streets instead of my mom and dad. I did that. It didn't work. So your fear is if I don't keep a tight rein on these boys, they're going to walk. They're not going to go to school. They're not going to get an education. They're not going to respect you, him, him, me, nobody. So it is your purpose in life as the father in the house
to give them that discipline. You're saying you're Absolutely. molding yeah, them. You're giving them discipline. Showing them when he's not working a steady job, when he, I mean, you know, the thing about it is, I got no education and I do Jason work. Jason sits there and one of our biggest arguments is financial problems. Yeah. And he's like, I help you and it's 50-50 with both of us. But it's not. Jason pays half of the bills and that's about it. Every once in a while, a lot of men his mom helps more with the kids than he does as far as getting is that a school bad thing? clothes and stuff like that. Is that no, a bad but thing? you're saying I he work. needs to focus less on molding the children and more on providing. Both. No, exactly. I, th I think it needs to be both. He needs so to do Mr. it Mo all the I way around. Ask you, what do you think should happen in this relationship? You've witnessed this. You see the relationships they have with the children and the climate in their marriage. What do you think should happen here? I think they should finalize and get a divorce. Um, mm. I think that would be the best. Um, you really feel like there's no I, saving the I marriage? I feel like that's contradicting, though. No, I don't feel like there is. Uh, from what I've seen over the years, no. Um, he don't keep a job. If he does get a job, they, he loses it. And Elijah, it's going to take a lot for those two to get the respect for one another. And you don't feel like he's setting a good example for your no, grandson? No, he's not setting a he good example. He ain't in the home. He don't know what I do. We lived with yeah. my dad from February till July. We lived with my father. And so he does have a good intake of she what we She needs anger management. Through. She can't handle them kids. But I she do. Can yell. Right, anger Thank she you so much, Mr. Most, for your testimony. It I'll was enlightening. You may one. have a seat. I do need anger I'd management. like to now. I am angry and I'm upset and I just feel like I'm just can't ready nobody to handle explode. Him. He called me himself. Because it's with my whole family situation, though. He called me himself and couldn't handle them one day. Now, how is it just so me? So you're saying Mr. Mulch yeah. called you yeah. and said he couldn't handle Elijah? Absolutely. He called me. He, we made an agreement for Elijah to go there because we don't get along. He called me and was like, it, it's just too much for me, too. I can't take it either. Courtney has to work tomorrow. You guys are going to have to figure something out. Yeah, but no, my dad false. also had plans. You know what I'm saying? My dad is retired. I, my niece so was there. She's happen? 11. And my son is 12. He had plans, so they still have to be under some kind of supervision. You know, I'm a little concerned because I feel like this child is being pushed here or there or everywhere because no one can handle him or he's so disrespectful. And I'm not saying that children um, can't be disrespectful. But I'm my son's number one most advocate. Most kids around 12 years old are a lot to handle. Yeah, he's twice. The That's a around. really tough age. He's twice the I can yeah, remember being 12 too. years he's... old. Does, does it happen to you when it's just you and him? Uh, does he disrespect you? Are you, you? all interviewing no. each other, or well, am I trying to, to bottom, figure out what's going on in the marriage? Because my thing is, all of a sudden you get in here and you want to talk to one another. If you were talking more to one another at home, then you wouldn't be standing right here. That's our problem. So, now. court is we allow people to talk to one another even though they're talking over the judge. Continue. Exactly. What my, else do you all want to say to one another? My mom treats all the kids like they're hers. Elijah's not hers, but she treats them exactly the same. Exactly the same. There's not a Christmas, a birthday, an event. And me an and his event. mother have a great relationship. A great relationship. Why outside can't... Outside of Jason. Well, you know, if me and Jason aren't getting along or whatever, me and her, we still talk. Granted, sometimes it's a little hard to talk to her when he's there and we are arguing because I feel like it puts her really in the middle. Okay. Let me move on to the defense witness. Mrs. Phelps Schultz, if you please could stand up. Thank you. You're the defendant's mother. Yes, I am. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please. Enlighten us on what you know about this situation. Well, there's, there's a lot of disrespect going around altogether, okay? I, it's just not coming from one party. It's coming from everybody. You got the whole family involved here. Courtney's a good-hearted person. She tries to please everybody. I mean, she goes out of her way to please me, you know, when I'm just the mother-in-law. But she does that. She's a pleaser. But you got to set limits for your children. You cannot be best friend with the eight, seven, you know, 10 year old, 12 year old. You can't be best friends with these guys. You know, a lot of us parents know that. You got to set a boundary. And bless your heart, she does, the, the correcting part just doesn't come easy for Courtney, which, it, you know, and Jason feels the authority figure. Elijah's you feel disrespected like Mrs. Johnson. So long. I agree with Rick on one thing and one thing only. I don't think it can be. Uh, fix between Elijah and Jason unless a third party comes in and does it. 
you know. Thank you so, very much, ma'am. I understand you. your point. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. You may have a seat. I've set up mm -hmm. for Elijah has been in counseling for years. I feel like when he's around my two boys, they fight even more because he has like this kind of hatred. So it's is my what I feel fault. They're disrespectful. It. Ethan's disrespectful too. He's All an eight-year-old. Right, so he's disrespectful. Miss Johnson, that's why you're here. You yes. want the court to order your husband to take parenting classes. Yes. What about I mean, I wish that he would her. do it on his own. I wish that it didn't even have to lead to this. I wish you this, would, too. He... You are just as guilty as me in every situation. So why he's trying to put me out here, like, I don't he's do He's just as disrespectful as Elijah. I'm saying you know, it. I'm listening to this. It's, it's and crazy. And I am certain and then we that can't stay parenting apart for two classes weeks. could help you both. And what I'm feeling like is that the issues between the two of you in your marriage, some of which are caused by the parenting issues, others, financial issues and such, professional issues, they're all getting clogged together, and ultimately, the children are the ones suffering. I agree. And parenting classes will help you learn how to navigate through this. There's gotta be now, more than that. you stated to the court, Ms. Johnson, that if Mr. Johnson failed to agree to these parenting courses that you were going to divorce him. I was going to petition the divorce, yeah. Now, Mr. Johnson, hmm. having heard what we've heard thus far, will you go? Mr. Johnson, hmm. having heard what we've heard thus far, it is this court's opinion and advisement that you both enter parenting classes together. Will you go? I'll do whatever it takes for my family. That's great to hear. <laughs> Let's face it, it's not always an easy job. No, it's not. But you all have to get on the same page on the job. That's I feel true. like you two are on two different planes when They're it comes not even to in the parenting. Same book. Everyone's parenting styles are different. As for the anger management request, you countersued and petitioned this court to order that Ms. Johnson go to anger management. Absolutely. Earlier in your testimony, Ms. Johnson, I remember distinctly hearing you say, I do need anger management because I'm mad all day. I am. You remember that? I, and I feel like I'm going to explode and I need to figure some other coping skills or something because I get to yes. the point where I just want to hurt them all. Yes. <laughs> and more wives need to be as brave to stand there and say, I might have on my superwoman cape most days, but some days it's choking me, right? Yeah. And I need a little help. I need to figure out how to do these things. Or I feel like I'm going to explode on everybody. I do. So you are consenting to take those anger management courses. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. I realized that there was a petition for divorce. We've seen. Yes. I'm going to take a risk and just ask, now that we've consented to the anger management and the parenting courses, is it safe to say that we're going to work on this marriage? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. So we won't be needing this, right? Right. right. 